be prepared for a lot of moments of falling off the side of a cliff. Hey there, everybody. This is Wild Goat here from the Adventures of Wild Goat. I'm in Minecraft Legends, and I'm here to tell you about all of the different biomes. One being the Fate Lands, which is right here by the Well of Fate. I really, 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 I want a texture pack with this in it. This is such a beautiful area. Something to pay attention to right outside the Fate Lands are these amazing stone structures. They are perfect for getting a massive amount of stone. They also have a ton ton of trees in the surrounding areas. And you can easily teleport back to the Well of Fate by just using your map. And then you'll end up in this lovely tower here and, and all of your troops that you have with you at that time can come with you as well. So it's really easy to come here and use these resources. When you're looking around the map, it's going to tell you on the side here of what biome you're looking at. And it'll also tell you what your resource is that you can collect from there. Looking at the map itself, you can definitely tell by the symbols what each area is. The map also also tells you your day and time night cycle. All maps will be different, but the ocean is definitely surrounding them all and we don't know anything about it. Maybe there'll be more added on. There are nine different biomes, including the Fateland. Meadows are known for their coal. There's minimal trees and stone. So if you do have a village that is in a meadow, you want to pay attention to your resources before going there and these fun mud pits. They will slow you down. There's also this amazing stuff called speedy grass or speed wheat, whatever you wanna to refer to it as. You can check your resource manual by clicking R. This is called speed wheat. It makes you go fast. You can sprint as well as using speed grass at the same time. Speed wheat, tall, speedy stuff. The forest is generally a beautiful landscape of trees, speed grass, some stone structures. There's not too much to be concerned about in the forest, but apparently the piglins have invaded this forest. Get out of here, piggy. I need your help. I'm trying to show people. It's definitely known for its iron. Obviously, forests are also great for gathering wood. One of the more difficult biomes to travel through is the swamp. There are several things you wanna be on the lookout for. It is known for its massive amounts of redstone, but you wanna watch out for torch flowers, poison vines, and brambles. All of these are painful to you. <laughs> <laughs> as well as your troops. While you're moving through the swamp, if you find that you've taken a little too much damage for health, hang out with one of these regeneration portals. This will also help heal the army that you have with you. The jungle is beautiful. Just like the swamp, it is known for its redstone. If you have an army with you and you're using the mushrooms to get around, you're gonna have a bit of a problem having them keep up. Sometimes you're rewarded with some really great gifts up in the trees. These chests are great for getting resources or maybe even an extra allay. There are several things to be on the lookout for in the jungle with red brambles and poison vines. Jungles do have a pretty good amount of stone as well as wood. And if you check out one of my other videos, you'll find out that there is a very special mount that you can find in this biome. The tundra is a beautiful snowy biome. Be on the lookout for these geysers where they will hurt you and your troops if you happen to run over one. It does give you a little bit of a boost so you can use that if you wanna move a little bit quicker. Not a terrible amount of wood, but you might be able to find some stone piles every now and again. The best thing about the tundra, diamonds are plentiful in the tundra. The Badlands are amazing. They have these really cool peaks that remind me a lot of a mesa. You do wanna watch out for those brambles. Badlands is also known for getting a lot of coal. If you ever get stuck in the Badlands though and you're in a battle, oh no, the poor llamas. Be ready to pack some resources to come with you. This is not known for a lot of resources in this area. It is good on stone, but you might run out of wood fairly quickly. And just like the Badlands, the dry savanna is also pretty low on resources. The weird and interesting thing is, is that you would think this tree would be wood. This is actually not wood. This is stone. If you want to gather wood in the dry savanna, you need to look for this right here. That is an actual tree in the dry savanna. If you're on the lookout for iron, be sure to stop by a dry savanna. You're going to be able to find some of that fairly quickly if you can distinguish it from the rest of the landscape. I love the jagged peaks. They are beautiful. They are difficult. They can be very deadly. If you do not have a proper mount to get through the jagged peaks, be prepared for a lot of moments of falling off the side of a cliff. You are going to find the mushrooms exceptionally helpful in the jagged peaks to help you jump up to that next level. This is one of the reasons why I love the brilliant beetle. It's just gonna climb right up the side. 
The Jagged Peaks are known for massive amounts of diamonds, so when you're ready to get this resource, be sure to head on into the Jagged Peaks with the proper mount to be able to get around. And if you're on the lookout, you'll be able to find these chests that you can use for resources. Hey, I got a build a lay out of that one. Nice. The greatest thing about the Jagged Peaks is you are going to get the bird's eye view of the area. Oh, look at that. I think I can see my house from up here. Maybe not. I don't know. So there you have it. A tour of the map and all the biomes that you have available to you. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that you enjoy exploring Minecraft Legends. Thanks for joining me, everybody. What's your favorite biome? Let me know down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video or live stream. Goodbye, everybody. Hugs for all.